there, I'm Clifford Bates, and welcome once again to reading Nick Aristotle's Nicomachean Ethics. Well, um, today we're doing chapter two of book three, focusing on the introduction where he dealt with the last chapter, he dealt with the question of the voluntary and the involuntary. We're going to be focusing more on the virtue. This is the virtue, the, the so-called virtues of character. Um, and he's going to now uh, introduce the question. He, in the last chapter, he dealt with the... Uh, uh, now, in book four, book two, it was kind of the introduction of the theme. He he gives a brief outline of the ver uh, 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 these virtues, but now this is going to he now talk about the involuntary, the involuntary, and then he's going to give a more in depth examination of each of the ver specific virtues uh, um, uh, when it comes up. So let's go look into this right now. He says, since both the voluntary and the involuntary has been defined going through what pertains to choice comes next. So we're now doing the question of choice. What is choice? So chapter one uh, was the involuntary, the not the, the involuntary, the voluntary, the voluntary, the involuntary, the non-voluntary, right? Which is a subset of the voluntary, involuntary, right? Um, it is now, this has been defined. The voluntary and involuntary has been defined. Now he's going to talk about what is choice, right? For choice seems to belong very much to Virtue, uh, and to distinguish dis, uh, and to distinguish people's characters more uh, 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 more than actions do. So, in other words, the choice, the question of choice, choice. Uh, uh, it is the, what defines virtue is the things that we choose, right? Things of choice. What pertains to choice is next, and choice belongs very much to virtue, more than actions, because the actions. Because remember. Because of the question of the voluntary, the involuntary, in regards to actions, right? Choice seems to be the kind of thing where it's about it's the alternative, the involuntary. It's the thing that's choice is voluntary, right? And it's chosen, right? Choice, um, and, and therefore it has it distinguishes people's characters more than action per se, the things that they do, right? <clears throat> now, choice appears to be something voluntary but not the same thing as the voluntary. Rather, what is voluntary is wider in scope. So in other words, choice is, is, is a part of the voluntary, but the voluntary even goes, be, in other words, choice is a kind of more, is a very specific thing within the scope of the voluntary. And he has a very point, what is uh, next point for both children and animals share in what is voluntary, but not in choice. And we say that sudden actions are voluntary, but not, but do not stem from their choice. In other words, we, 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 in other words some actions, because they're so sudden, they're voluntary, yet at the same time, because they're not involuntary, they're the opposite, they're cho but they're not questionably chosen. We do them, and, it, and this is the problem, is habit. This We need to go back here and, and think about for a second something we addressed in book one about the question of habit, right? The habits, the question of habits. Habits aren't necessary choices, but they're voluntary, okay? Uh, they can also be involuntary as also, but uh, 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 habits are a form of not necessarily things. That, okay, when we sh when we create habits, we may be doing it through choice. The creation of a habit might be something done through choice, but the do, the practice of habit that we have is not necessary one. So I, I just raise that as a thing here, right? Uh, uh, but children and animals are uh, they share in the voluntary, but they can't say they have choice. For those who say that choice is desire, spiritedness, wish, or some specific opinion, do not seem to speak correctly. So therefore, choice is, in other words, choice is, is desire. I mean, those who say that choice is desire, spirited wish, or some specific opinion, they're not speaking correctly. For choice is not something shared by non-rational animals, but desire and spiritedness are. 
Okay, this is the right, that, the, 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 but not animals without reason. Animals that don't have, who, who don't possess reason. I think that's a, that's a bad translation. I think by non-rational animal, he means the animals who lack reason. Animals that lack or don't have, possess, don't, don't have reason. Um, but desire and spirit is, do, are, are, are shared by them, right? And the person lacking self-restraint acts out of desire, but he does not do so from choice. So, in other words, something out of, the person who's acting of, uh, out of, uh, lacking self-restraint, right, does act out of desire, but he does not do some choice. The self-restrained person, conversely, acts from choice, but not out of desire. Now, he doesn't desire to do it, but he restrains himself. He does a choice. So, one example of the person who lacks self-restraint acts out of uh, act acts out of desire. He doesn't do this. This is not choice. It's clearly kind of involuntary or mixed, right? But then the person who is self-restrained, he is not, uh, 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 he's acting from choice. He is, is choosing to do this, not because, what it, he's not doing so because he desires it, in that sense. And, uh, and whereas desire opposes choice, right? Desire does not oppose desire. <laughs> Interesting. Desire does not impose desire. In other words, desi a desire opposes choice, he says, but desire does not impose desire. Desire has to do with what is pleasant and painful, whereas choice has to do with neither the painful nor the pleasant. So, this is good. so wait a minute. So desire deals with what is pleasant and painful, but the choice deals neither with the painful nor the pleasant. Still less is choice spiritedness. For what arises through spiritness, spirit, uh, spiritness, we most, seems least of all to stem from choice. Ooh, in that sense. In other words, that spiritedness is, is the least. Desire seems to be a little more, it's a little, this is, notice that it seems least to desire from choice. Okay, so that's interesting. Yet choice is not wish either. Although it appears to be closely related to it. In other words, in other words, okay. So therefore, if if, if let's go through first of all, what choice is not, right? Choice is not passion, not desire, it's not spiritedness. And it's not wish either, but it's closely related to it. For choice does not have, for choice does not have impossibilities as its objects. And if someone should claim to choose something impossible, he would have been held to be foolish. Right? In other words, in other words, you, in other words, choice has. In other words, things. A choice must be a, something within the realm of the possible. If it's in, if it's not in the realm of the possible, if it's impossible, then there's no choice. There's no choice regarding the impossible. We can wish for the impossible things. In other words, we have we have wish for something that is not possible, or, you know, but it's not something we would think is foolish. Right? Would be. Um, uh, uh, one does not. One does not have. Uh, for choice does not have uh, impossibilities as object. If someone should claim to choose something impossible, it'd be held to be foolish. But wish may be for things that are impossible. For example, immortality, right? And wish is also concerning the things that that could not come about through our own doing. In other words, uh, uh, such as wishing that a certain actor. Or athlete win a victory. In other words, we, we can't make them win that victory. We can't get do do, uh, uh, do something. Um, we can hope that it's like hope, wish, wish something else happens. So therefore, it's not something possible. We can't. In other words, we don't have the power that given the victory. We don't have the power to have this actor or get the award or this act or athlete win. We have no role in that decision. 
but we'd like it to happen. That's wish, in essence, right? So something that which we know that's not possible, or that we don't, you know, that, again, it's not possible, but we don't, we themselves don't play a role, and not from us, right? Um, and wish also concerned things that that could not come with uh, about through one's own doing, right? Again, this uh, one. Uh, no one chooses these sorts of things, but but only those that a person suppose may come through, come about through his own doing. So therefore, in other words, we, we can only have choice. Choice is only about things that we can do ours. It's our own doing. This is why he, he does it this way. No one chooses the sort of things, but that a person supposes may come through his only choose things that you're on doing further or further wish has more to do with the end the end the goal the purpose the the, 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 the final situation right whereas choice has to do with the thing conductive to that end that is we wish to be healthy whereas we choose those things that which will we that's which we will be we choose those things by which we will become healthy for example we in other words choice is not about the end state choice is about the end of the ends this is why he says in book six again he'll repeat this that we don't choose ends we don't deliberate about telosis um, about we don't deliberate about the telos. We have an end. We just choose it. You now we have an end, and we deliberate about how to get to it. Right? The the, the particulars about what is uh, about what is this choice seems to be about the. Um, furthermore, wish has to do more at the end. Choice has to do with the things conductive, things that get us to that end. So we wish healthy, but we choose the things that will become healthy. That allow us to become healthy. We wish to be happy, and we declare this. Whereas to say that we choose to be happy is not appropriate. We can choose the actions that lead us to happiness, that to, uh, happiness. But we wish, you know, happiness is something we. It's the end we go towards. Um, in that sense, um, uh, 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 declare this. Whereas to say that we choose to be happy is not appropriate. For on the whole, choice appears to be concerned with the things that are up to us. Choice would also not be opinion, doxa. It's not doxa. Choice is not about doxa. Opinion, in that sense. It's interesting. It's not about doxa. Opinions or belief, in that sense. Since then, since opinion seems to be concerned with all matters, and to be no less concerned with the things eternal and impossible than with those that are up to us. So therefore, the opinion, we can have, opinion, we have beliefs and opinions about all sorts of things. Even the, the what he says, the things that are, are, that, that are in, that we have control, that we have the, that are possible and impossible between the eternal and the uh, things eternal and impossible, and the things that are uh, 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 than with those things that are up to us, right? No less concerned with these matters. An opinion is divided into false and true, not into good and bad. Now, there's opinion. Actually, this is interesting. False and true. Opinion on its own terms is false, but we, we can say bad opinion too. We we think about this as, as hate speech, right? Bad speech, bad actions, right? But that's not we we want to say opinion is an action. We think good and bad actions. We don't necessarily think good or bad opinions. See, Aristotle is very interesting. Opinions, belief. We, in other words, opinion is divided between false and true. Not into bad and good, whereas choice is divided more into these latter two. So choice we decide is whether it's again. I think this is an interesting. I think uh, uh, 
I don't know. I mean, we, today we would say intent, uh, uh, there's opinions that are bad and good, opinions that are not just right and wrong, true and false, but good and bad, bad opinions, certain beliefs that are bad. Um, not just merely false. They, they, we, we, no, they may, we think that, and very interesting, that there are some opinions that are true today, that are true, but are said to be bad, right? Right, um, again, but that's because of what? Not the not the knowledge itself, but the effect of their knowledge. It's the at the at the at the sake of the thought itself. It's neither good nor bad. It's either true or false. Um, it's the question of its effect, its action. Actions can be good and bad, and therefore choices in this sense are good and bad. So choices are the way you conceive to an action, right? How do we do the action? That seems to be the case. Um, so perhaps then no one, uh, 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 no one even says that choice is the same as opinion generally. So it's no one thinks opinion and choice are the same. But it is not the same. Okay. Perhaps then no one even says that choice is the same as opinion generally. So that's it. But it is not the same as some specific opinion either. So I have a specific opinion, right? Uh, um, it's not, it's not, it's therefore no one will ever say that it's a choice and opinion are the same thing. But it's, it's neither is it the same, a choice is not a specific opinion either. It goes, continues. For it is, uh, for it is by choosing the good and bad things that we are certain, uh, that we are of a certain sort, not by opining them. <laughs> oh boy, do we live in a different world. Today, virtue signaling is not about doing certain things, doing or not doing them, but rather believing or opining about certain things or not opining about certain things. In other words, um, um, Virtue signaling is an impossibility because why? Virtue being good is actions, not opinions. In other words, it's not about correct or incorrect opinions. Virtue being good, a good character, is not about your opinions, it's about your actions. Okay, that's very important to think about here for our staff. Um um, that is shocking in that sense. We we would not agree with. I think the problem is modern world thinks opinions are more important than actions in the sense, right? Um, and we choose to take or avoid one of these sorts of good or bad things, but we opine about what is, what it is, or to whom or in what manner it is advantageous. And we really do not opine about taking or avoiding them. We really do not opine about taking or avoiding actions. That's interesting. Do we do that though? I mean, I mean, I think certain, we deliberate about what should we do, what should we shouldn't do. We choose about doing it or not doing it. So it's when we decide whether we're going to do this or not do this, this is us choosing. This is not opining. Choosing and opining or believing is not the same thing, right? In this sense. We choose to take or to avoid these bad good things or bad things, right? We opine about what is what it is or to whom or in what matter it is advantageous or not advantageous. We decide whether it's something we have, we have a belief. We have a belief about or an opinion about whether this is advantage or not. But deciding that we should that we should do this, that this is the advantageous and that is the, and, or that is disadvantageous is a choice to choose 
use this because it is advantageous. Is it's not an opinion. Whereas we can have an opinion about something, but the second we choose that opinion, um, then that's no longer an opinion. That's a choice. In other words, we choose to take or avoid this one uh, um, of this sort of good, but we opine about what is or to whom or in what matter is that it is advantageous. And we really do not opine about taking or avoiding them, right? Choice is also praised more for being directed at what we ought to be, what is ought to be, and for being correctly made, whereas opinion is praised for how true it is. So we praise opinion as whether it's truthfulness. Now, whereas, in other words, it's correctly, in other words, choice is, um, choice is praised more by directed at, what is it, and, and ought to be for doing, being correctly made. Now, uh, uh, this first clause could be also be translated, and choice is more praise for being directed at what it ought to be than for being corrected. And so therefore, it is a, is a question. Um, in other words, it could be this clause here, the beginning clause of this. Choice is, there's two ways to read it. One is that choice is made for being directed at, at what it ought to be and for being correctly made. Two things, right? Um, or what it ought to be, it should be. In other words, second one is, there's two ways to read it. One is that they should be both. We should aim at both what is to be aimed at, what to be uh, ought to, in other words, this, in other words, directed, in other words, one says it needs to be both. It needs to be uh, 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 um, praised for being directly at what ought to be done and for being done correctly. That is choice. Choice is a twofold, or choice is onefold. Choice is more about what that we. Per, uh, choice is is praised more for being directed at what ought to be than being done correctly. I, I think no. I think I think the way the translator is it's twofold. There's two ways to read this. One is that it's more about the intention or what is that it's what it's directed at. And, and not so much its execution, where for the, the translation that the, uh, uh, Bartlett and, um, and Collins gives is that it's both, that the choice matters, it's about what we're doing, uh, what is being aimed at and whether it's done correctly, not whether we, uh, 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 how true it is in that sense. Okay. And we choose what we know most of all. And we choose what we know most of all to be good. So the things that we know to be good, okay. Whereas we opine about what we do not know at well, as well at all well or uh, at all well. In other words, we don't. In other words, we opine. In other words, we don't have knowledge. In other words, we choose what we not. We, choice often deals with what we know. Whereas opinion deals with what we believe, and what we believe is not necessarily something we know well. In other words, we uh, 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 we opine about what we do not know at all well. We don't know it. We don't know it all. No, we, we don't. We don't. We do not know it all well. We don't have a well. In other words, well, it's a very weird construction of this. How this is doing. We, we opine about things, uh, what we do not know at all well. In other, words, in other words, we don't know about it. We don't have complete knowledge. We don't have a knowledge of it. Whereas there is some, there is some no, choice as we know something. We have knowledge. We know that this and we know it's not what it's not, what it is and what it's not. And we have things. But then again, what about some things we kind of don't? We don't have absolute knowledge. We have imperfect knowledge. Then is that a choice too, or is that because you know what we don't know is the argument is an opinion, but there are some things we treat that are more we don't have complete knowledge of, but we really only at best really have an opinion about it, 
a belief about it, but that belief for that moment is our knowledge about it, right? Um, and therefore, we just make a choice based on what we assume. In other words, we're not making the choice based upon the belief. We're make, yeah, we are. It's the belief. The beliefs become now our facts. And then of the relevant facts, we, we, we judge choice about the, the relevant facts we have, and we decide what is better and worse, what is useful and not useful, right? <clears throat> the same people do not... Okay. The same people uh, do not seem both to choose and to opine what is best. So it's very interesting. In other words, the same people do not seem both to choose and to opine what is best. Rather, some opine what is better, yet on account of their vice, they choose what they ought not. So therefore, there are people, in other words, the same people do not seem to choose to both to choose and opine what is best. Not always the case. Because some people opine what is better, yet on account of their vice, they choose what they ought not. But but whether opinion precedes choice, or it accompanies with the question, but whether opinion precedes choice or accompanies it makes no difference. For we're not examining this, but whether it is the same thing as some specific opinion. Now, that's the point. In other words, he's, he's, the question of whether choice, opinion and precedes choice or accompanies it, this is not the question. So they might, it might precede it, and it might, it might be both in that sense. It could be sometimes it precedes it, sometimes it accompanies it. But, but that's not the question. It's whether these are the same. It, uh, it, we're not examining this issue. We're exa but it, whether it is... This, that opinion and choice is the same, is, uh, in other words, whether it is the same thing, choice is the same thing as some specific opinion. That's not, it's not a specific opinion in that sense. Or what or what or what sort of thing is choice then, since it has, it is none of the things mentioned, right? It indeed appears to be something voluntary. So, what is choice? Since there's nothing, it's not what anything we've talked about in that sense. In that sense, mentioned so far, it's not a, it's not a passion. It's not a desire. Not a, not a, a, a wish. And so far, we we have to deal with the question. It's not an opinion. It's not a belief. It's not a doxa. Right? It's not these things. It appears to be something voluntary, but not everything voluntary is an object of choice. So it has to be something at the realm of the possible, right? It has to be uh, 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 every, you know, you can have the, uh, the, it has to be not only voluntary, but also what? It has to be something that is uh, 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 not everything voluntary can be an object of choice. But it is, therefore, at least an object of pride. Um, so. But is it? This is the, the next question. So it must be a choice, right? It's an object of choice. But not everything is a, 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 a voluntary. It must be something voluntary, but not all voluntary things are choices, right? Object. But it. But it is there. But is it therefore at? At least an object of prior deliberation. I don't know the word deliberation to deliberate. Now, this will be the focus of the next chapter: deliberation. For choice is accompanied by reason and thought, right? Um, and, and so, therefore, it's, it is something. The question is: it is here? Choice seems to be tied to deliberation. For choice is accompanied by reason and thought, calculation, not reason and thought, right? Even the name appears to signify this. For although it refers to something taken before the other things, right? Literally, in other words, the the Greek the Greek is poresis, poresis, which literally means taking before. Eris and pro, pro before. So poresis, which literally means the taking before other things. And so 
choosing or preferring something, some things over others, right? Paracious. So therefore, the, he's, he's now looking at the very Heideggerian, the word, the word in fact gives us a literal meaning. That it is the, it signifies this as, as it refers to something taking before other things. Before in paresis, right? The, uh, uh, taking, asis, before, pro, right? So proasis is the uh, uh, the thing that you know something that is literally taking before, right? So let's end here. If you have any comments, questions, or issues that you want to raise, or something that you want like more discussion about this or something, please put your com uh, your comments and questions in the display in the question area below, and I will respond to them uh, when I see them. If you liked it, if you like what I said, hit the like button. Come on. If you liked it and you, you found it valuable or it's been interesting doing it hit the like button i need to, more people to hit the like buttons because uh, people watch it but they always hit the like button that suggests it okay um uh, i like to because uh, that helps the channel to get attention the more, more likes um uh, uh the thing is if you're not subscribed if you've not subscribed please think about three subscribe if you know someone who might be interested in what we're doing here and not only this but the other uh, uh uh, uh, took books that we talked about or things you can hit the subscribe uh, uh, encourage them to subscribe also like the, uh, by growing the channel again by more subscriptions the channel will grow and we'll get more rights privileges right now we're kind of like struggling around just under 400 and I have to get across that you know um, I, 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 I joked I said I'll, when I get 400 I'll have the part I'll, I'll do a special video um, Next is um, if you didn't like it, you can say don't you know, always you can hit thumb down, but say why in the comments. Say why in the comments. That way we can benefit. In other words, we can learn something. Um, if you want to follow me on social media, um, my social media links are below. If you want to know about my research and my work as a scholar, um, um, you can do so by checking the below the social media or the academic social media, which goes takes you to my you know you know about my, myself as a scholar and also my public points to my publications and my research stuff um another thing you can do is you want to help me to do what i do help me to do what i do what i do you want to financially help of course you can always send uh go to my academic things on my email and send a amazon card that would always be welcome but um another way if you want to contribute if you want to contribute and, and do so regularly, you can do so through Subscribestar or Patreon. Another way if you can help is if you if, if would like to, uh, uh, either for yourself or for others, you've not done so already, um, maybe, uh, maybe you know, someone who might be interested, you can go buy one of my books that listed below. Um, you can do buy and where, you can buy at Amazon, uh, Amazon uh, online, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and other uh, online locations that can be bought. Lulu, buying Lulu, if you're going to buy the, um, a notebook on Aristotle, it's best buying it by Lulu because it makes me more money in that sense. Because uh, uh, I'll get the money that uh, I'll be get the money that Amazon, the bookstores get. Or you can buy it through your local bookstore as well. That's not the buy, buy these books through the bookstore if you want to uh, uphold traditional bookstores. I understand that. Okay, great. Uh, get your bookstore to order it. Okay, that's fine. You can maybe they order it. That'd be nice. Um, but if you want to really help, you buy it by Lulu. If you want to buy the by my Lulu, I'll get the bigger profit from that because I'll get the bookstore's profit. <laughs> okay, that's it. Well, uh, that's it. Next time we'll come, we'll turn to chapter three um, um, and we'll continue on this. We'll take care. Bye-bye. Have a good day. See you later.